Welcome to Techniques and Information for People Who Are Blind or Visually Impaired, offered by the State of Connecticut Bureau of Education and Services for the Blind, also known as BESB, which is part of the Department of Aging and Disability Services. Hi, this is Matt Cornelius, Certified Orientation and Mobility Specialist with the State of Connecticut Bureau of Education and Services for the Blind. Today, we will talk about different types of canes. Many people wonder when they lose vision or go blind, what can help them to get around? An orientation and mobility specialist described in another video can assist with a person's day-to-day -day mobility needs in a safe and efficient manner. To do so, a person with blindness may get trained to use a long cane or other type of mobility aid. There are many devices available to a person with blindness to be able to get around their environment. Are a variety of canes and different types of tips provided by our agency. From left to right, there are two support canes, one with a straight handle and one with a curved handle. Next is an ID cane, then a long cane, and then a variety of cane tips. Each will be described further in a moment. Each cane serves a different purpose. It's important to note if you are having severe physical disabilities, such as with a knee or hip, or have balance issues, Please see a physical therapist, orthopedic doctor, or other healthcare professional. In this picture, the ID and long cane are folded. This next picture shows the ID and long canes unfolded. There's quite a size difference from when the cane is folded compared to when the cane is unfolded and put together properly. From left to right, the first cane and the second canes are support or so short canes. These canes have most of the shaft colored in white, with the bottom section being red, of the short or support canes. The only difference between the two support canes are the handles, one being a straight handle and the other being a curved handle. Which handle is right for you is a personal preference and will be determined by you and your O&M specialist. Next, we have the ID and the long canes. Some people have what is called low vision, where the person may only want the cane for identification. Some people say they wish they had something that could identify them as having a visual impairment. There's a cane for that. It is called an ID or light duty cane. You may be able to notice the ID cane is thinner than the long cane. Typically, a person with a more severe vision loss should opt for the more physically sturdy long cane, since the ID cane is not meant for heavy duty use. It is used simply for identification or light spot checking. That being said, all the canes shown, since they are considered a white cane, will provide identification for the person with a visual impairment. The next things in the picture may appear rather strange. These items are different types of tips which can be interchanged in the long cane. From left to right, there is the pencil tip, which is a straight shaped tip, and a roller tip, which looks similar to a jumbo marshmallow, but it has a bearing inside which can, which can make it roll on the ground. Then a large ball tip, similar in size to a small baseball, which also has a bearing in it to make it roll. Next is a metal glide tip, similar to what can be found on the bottom of chairs that are on tile surfaces. And then the non-rolling marshmallow tip. There are even more tips and canes than these not pictured. You may ask to yourself, which tip should I use? It is a personal preference, along with how a person uses the cane. You and your own o &M specialist will determine what is best for you and your situation. Note, the support canes are adjustable and can be adjusted to the height of the person. The IG and long canes are a single size, so the size will be measured by your o &M specialist and the appropriate size cane will be issued to the person. Also, sometimes a person may need to use a support cane along with a long cane. This can be done with training provided by your O&M specialist. And if there is a need, we also work with people using rollators, walkers, and wheelchairs. Oddly enough, you can use a cane with a walker or a wheelchair. If you have further questions, you may contact your O&M specialist for further clarification at area code 860-602-4000. Thank you for listening and have a great day. For more information, please contact Besby 
at 860-602-4000. Thank you.